the audio know where we at. Go to lunch and enjoy the community. I won't tell on the bros for the immunity. Can't beat them, that shit ain't gonna ruin me. I'm the only one now that I do me. I got hoes by the crew trying to do me. Today is my birthday. Today I turned 27 years old and I am so excited that today is my birthday. I don't typically celebrate my birthday and I really wanted to change that this year. So right now I'm actually about to go to Starbucks to get my free drink and then I'm going to get ready to go get a massage and I'm definitely going to take y'all along with me today. Hey y'all, so I'm in the car now on the way to get my free birthday drink at Starbucks and y'all know I love me a good TikTok so I had to go on TikTok and figure out what drink I want to get because you know when it's your birthday you gotta splurge especially when things are going to be free so I'm going to get a venti drink and I'll share it with y'all um, once I actually have it and I'm able to order it and show y'all how I ordered it but you know i really just had a moment right before i turned on this camera and i was just praying and thanking god for allowing me to see 27 years and i am just so excited for this chapter of my life and i just want to be able to speak things and just not be afraid of sharing my goals just because I don't know how other people are going to take it and things like that. So something that I am really passionate about that I really want to do is to take my YouTube channel seriously. You know, every single day I think about my YouTube channel. Every single day I think about, oh, I should be filming. Oh, this would be a good video for me to do. Oh, I wish I was doing this. Oh, I wish I had this opportunity. Oh, I wish I was able to just explore more in Dallas you know those are things that I think about every single day every single day and every day that goes by I ask myself okay why haven't I done anything to make this happen why haven't I worked towards it and you know sometimes it's just I already have a lot on my plate or I may not feel confident that day I may not you know feel like showing my face which that's very common you know especially when you're on YouTube like you're showing your face and you're opening up to whoever in the world like you don't even know so you know that kind of scares me sometimes but this is really what I want so I really need to put my passion into that and you know take it serious so something that I really want to do as a goal um, in this year is to just not be afraid and something in regards to that is just filming more in public I really get nervous filming in public and in my previous video the one before this one I actually went into Ulta it was a very small clip but the simple fact that I brought my camera into Ulta like you can't hide your camera well I can't hide my camera and I filmed even though people were like looking at me and everything and one of the cash years she asked me she was like oh do you do photography and I was like no I'm vlogging and when I tell y'all that was the first time I've ever told like someone that I didn't know that I was actually vlogging you know I, I was nervous talking to her but she was like oh do you have a YouTube channel and I was like yeah I do and she asked me for my channel name and that was the first time I've actually given out my channel name to someone that I did not know so you know I just need to get over that and work for what I want and I just wanted to really share that with y'all one because I want to be able to speak it out loud and have others hear what I have to say hear what I'm passionate about but also just to motivate you as well because I don't know what you may be going through but if it's something that you think about every single day that you want to do just do it just start today like that could be anything going to the gym 
going to a new cooking class, starting a new job, applying to another job. You know, it could be anything like that. Just do it. Because especially, you know, if you have faith, take that leap of faith and do it. Yeah. So I just wanted to share that with y'all because it has just been very heavy on my mind lately and you know I'm 27 now and I can't have fear holding me back especially because I know God got me always so yeah I just wanted to share that with y'all hey there thank you to Starbucks my name's Alex I'm looking to get started for you Hi, um, can I get a venti iced chai tea latte with wheat cream cold foam um, with strawberry puree? Ooh. Uh, did you want the strawberry puree in the cold foam? Yes. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. <laughs> and... Got to go. Anything else? Um, do y'all have any grilled cheese sandwiches? Yes, we do. Okay, can I just have one? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Got to go. Anything else? No, that'll be all. Okay, and what was your name? Arnesia. Alrighty, Arnesia. I'll see you up here. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Alright, so I got the goods. I'm about to pull over really quick. Just park in the parking lot so I can show y'all what I got. This grilled cheese smells good. You know, if you've never had the grilled cheese sandwich from Starbucks, you definitely need to try it. It is expensive and I feel like you can make it at home, but you know. So this is my drink. I got a, oh, they spelled my name all wrong. Well, it's not too bad, but it's not right. Um, I got a venti iced chai tea latte with what I get? <laughs> Let me look. I actually found it on TikTok. I don't know how to read this little thing. So I got a iced chai tea latte with vanilla sweet cream cold foam with strawberry puree in the foam. On TikTok they said to put caramel on top, caramel drizzle, but no, I don't want that. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do a little taste test and see how this is. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's actually pretty good. If you've ever been to Dutch Bros and had the, I think it's called like a strawberry horchata or something, that's what it tastes like a little bit, but this one is a little bit more spicy. I normally get my chai tea lattes with oat milk, but I didn't do it. I wanted to just get it exactly how they said on TikTok. But it's actually pretty good. It has, yeah, it's a little spicy though. So yeah, this is good, y'all. Okay, we've never been to this place before, but they were like the only place that had an opening today. So we are about to get a couples massage and he does not like couples massages because I, I do like them you be in there squirming and stuff no that was the first time okay I was doing it last time what you talking about here we go hi how are you hi good how are you yes I have to fill out everything right mm -hmm. bye yeah. <laughs> I would massage your feet. You said you would? Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah, I didn't feel like they was trying to. They was sponging my hair or something. It was like. Sponging it? Uh, yeah. That was a lot. Alright, so we just finished the couple's massage and I think I showed y'all but we went to a massage on Maine and it's in Frisco 
and I actually give it a 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. What do you give it? You gonna let the opt know where we at? I give it a 9 out of 10. Why do you give it a 9 out of 10? I ain't get enough time with the stones. So with this massage, the hot stones were actually included. And honestly, it was one hour and it was $120 for the both of us. So it was $60 each. Is that how much we normally pay? No, it's way more. Really? Yeah. Like you don't like pay. Like massage heights? Yeah. Like you don't normally pay a dollar per minute. It's normally like, if you do like, if you do 60 minutes, it's usually like $75 each. Oh, I don't even remember how much we paid last time. Yeah, so with since the hot stones were included, that's really a good yeah, deal. Yeah, that was a good deal. Um, but yeah, it was very it was very nice. Like they really took their time and some parts of it hurt and I swear I checked off the light on my pressure, but she had you put like, medium. Did I put medium? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Because I was like about I to start put, crying. I put firm and she was in my tissue. <laughs> What? That's she what was in your tissue. Yeah. Um, My deep. T it was like a deep tissue massage. Yeah. That's another thing. Normally, with these massage places, it'd be like ten thousand. Dang, people just keep calling. I don't know who's from. Somebody from Arizona. You know what? It's probably that other massage place. Uh, where were we supposed to go at eleven? Yeah, that was weird. Oh. I think well, one we were supposed to go. Oh yeah. So these play. Oh yeah, it was one. Yeah. These normally they'd be having like ten thousand options for different massages. And I was, I'm, I'm wondering if that's real, or if they just be making up stuff. Yeah, but I mean, I thought she was making up stuff, like when she started chopping me. <laughs> oh yeah, it, you were getting beat up. Yeah, like they she didn't was, do that to me. She was like, she, she, I was about to say karate chopped me for like two seconds. She was punching me. <laughs> that's good. And I had like, like my it's back karma. is still kind of sore. Because I had this big old knot in my back. And like she really tried to get it out. And I don't even think it's all the way out to be honest. But yeah. Overall it felt it felt really good. And I did enjoy the stones too. And they put the stones on my feet. Oh yeah that felt good. That felt really good. So we actually had to come back from the massage. Because I got a call that I had two deliveries. So I got some very pretty flowers. And I got this balloon. So I know this is from my mom and my little sister. I don't know what fruit is in here, but it's from Edible Arrangement. And then I think the flowers and then these two boxes. I don't know what fruit is in those either, if it is fruit. I think that's from my granny and pop. So thank y'all so much. I love y'all. This was such a great surprise and I can't wait to put these flowers in some water so I can keep them for a long time. Thank you. All right, so I'm about to start getting ready for my birthday dinner. And I wanted to show y'all what I got from Opali. So I've actually never shopped at Opali before. And this is my first time opening this. So fingers crossed this works out and I can wear what I got. So I actually got two things. I can get this open. All right, so I got two things from Opali. I got a jumpsuit and a dress. So first I'm going to open up the jumpsuit. So originally I was not planning to wear this today. If I would have went to a dinner last night, I probably would have worn this, but I'll show y'all anyway. Okay, so I'll probably put a screenshot on the screen as well, just so y'all can see it on the model. But this is just like a one shoulder jumpsuit and I think it has yeah it has like a little slit and a flare at the pants at the bottom of the pants and it's kind of cute it's like it's double lined so I don't think it's see-through but it does look kind of small so hopefully it fits now I'm nervous about the dress because this is what I planned on wearing right now so 
Let's see. I'm nervous because if I don't wear this, if I don't wear this, then I can just wear the jumpsuit, I think. I think the jumpsuit will be okay. It's brown um, and it looks cute on the model. So again, I'll put a screenshot, but this is what the dress looks like. You really can't tell what it's supposed to look like with me just showing it, but the back has a little cutout right here. And it's like a midi dress. Well, it seems like it is. I really don't remember um, because I think I ordered this like a week and a half ago, but since I need to be dressed like right now, I'm gonna go ahead and try this stuff on and then I'll show y'all what I decided to wear. I know that I hurt you. Yeah. I was a child trying to be a man. To all my sons worldwide. My all my juniors. I, I apologize for my absence. I know I left you without a name and to drop. Right I don't know how I expected you to get your cloud up and get your money up, but don't worry. Daddy's home. Turn me up. Yeah. Niggas know they need to stop. Now I'm standing at the top. That's how I know you never seen the top. Sierra K parking lot, looking like Daddy City parking lot. Hear the talks when I walk by, like you know it's so quick. Hey, drop. Yeah, and I'm coming with the wop. Y'all niggas not popping. Fuck it, and she going shopping. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to come on here and close out the video. Carbone was a 10 out of 10 and I definitely want to go back, but to a different location. It was so good and I just had a great day today. I'm also super excited about the gift that my boyfriend got for me. I will show y'all what that is next month. So I will be vlogging that, so stay tuned. And thank you so much to everyone who has wished me a happy birthday. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe so that you are notified whenever I upload again. So make sure that you turn your post notifications on as well. And thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.